day everyone my name is michael you're welcome to my channel this is mike mode fashion tutorial please if you're just joining this channel for the very first time please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel please click on that um, notification bell a scroll is going to come out and you know out of the options of the scroll that you're going to see all click on all so that by the time we post new videos you'll be able to get some notifications on them you're welcome once more to my channel okay um we started a series some time back on that manipulation and we have been working on that manipulation for several weeks right now we have been working actually we have been working on the single that um, manipulation we're working on the single that manipulation we have been able to um, work on the french darts the side of street darts the mid arm all darts the um, shoulder tip darts the mid shoulder darts the mid neck darts the center front neck darts and the center front waist that okay so we are going to be working on the last part of this series of the single dart which is actually the the center front bust um level the center front bust level that okay that's what we are going to be manipulating today we're going to be learning how to manipulate and when we started this series we actually we have been learning on two techniques of how to manipulate that we talked about the slash spread um, technique and we also talked about the pivotal transfer technique okay so in this we are going to be um working on both so you know the purpose of this channel is just for you to find your own niche to see what works for you and you apply okay i also taught us the i talked about the advantage and disadvantages of this technique okay so it's just left for you to know what works for you as we'll be working on the two okay so before we continue we're just going to short break please don't don't leave the dial All right, you're welcome back to my channel. Okay, first and foremost, again, I before we start or continue, I um, want to appreciate my um, 1,000 subscribers. I've been able to hit 1,000. Yay! Thank you so much. Please uh, don't forget to like, share. Okay, share to other people so we can have more subscribers. Okay, on this um, channel to view this channel. Okay, we're gonna be starting right now. Okay, um, we started a series on that manipulation, like I said earlier on. So this is going to be the final part of it of the single that um manipulation for a bodice okay so this is my body please if you don't know how this body was drafted please i have videos on that please um, click on the description box below you're going to get the video of how a body just in case you don't know how this body was drafted you will get to see how this body was drafted okay so we are working on the final part okay i've been able to trace out this bodies into another paper okay i've been able to trace this out into another paper so what i'm going to be doing this time around is um I'm going to be transferring this that how do I do that okay from this my apex or my bust points I'm just going to take a straight line to the center front this way okay so this is my center front bust level um, that um, this is my center front bust level okay so I'm going to be transferring this waist that to my this waist that to my center front um, bust level Remember, I told you we're working on two techniques, which is the slash spread technique and the pivotal transfer technique. So we are starting first with the um, slash spread technique of this. Okay. So after taking this line, what do I do? I'm going to be slashing. I'm going to be slashing to the apex or the boss points, not through it, but to the apex or the boss point. okay so at this point what i do is this i will just close this up while this opens you know like what i i used to say you know the 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 the, the thing about that manipulation is just about saying when a door closes another opens that's how it works for that manipulation so while i close this this other one has opened already so we'll just close this up we just close this up. And voila. And that is it. So we have our darts transferred to the center front bust level. Okay. This is where our darts. So this is actually the, the slash spread technique. Now we are going to be working on the pivotal transfer technique. All right, for the pivotal transfer technique, I have my push pin. I have here with me my push pin. So what I'm going to do this, what I'm going to do right now is I actually took my pattern 
and I'm going to be aligning it to um, the straight edge of the paper okay I'm going to be aligning that with the straight edge of the paper and I'll just push my push pin through my pattern this way just to hold this in place and on my pattern paper I'm going to be labeling this A I'll be labeling this B and let's not forget that this pattern this that I'm actually transferring it to the center front okay I'm transferring this that to the center front this way so I'll just label this as C okay I'll label this as C so what am I going to do first is I'm actually going to trace from A down to this point okay after doing that I'm going to be labeling the center front C okay so here I'll just make a mark okay I'll just make a mark below my pattern there showing that okay that's my um, center front um, bus level that okay so this is my A tracing right now I'll pivot my B this way to this point so I'll be tracing my pattern I'll be tracing my pattern note this is where my C is right now this is where my C is right now so I'm tracing from this point upwards excuse me tracing from this point upward down to this point okay so at this point in time i'll just remove my push pin and voila i have my darts there so this is where my dart is right now is where my dart is right now however let's not forget that this dart is not going to be sewn from the apex okay we have to come forward or come out by at least an inch to release fullness okay to release fullness to release fullness sorry let me so I could get the center point of the dart an inch okay so we'll just connect that Okay, so mind you, this part of the pattern is going to be unfold. Why this place? We are going to put seam allowance. So let's go and sew, and you see what it looks like. I'm able to sew, and this is what we have. Okay, this is what we have. You can see this is where our dart is, and this is our seam allowance. Okay, this is what it came out as. Okay, is this not beautiful? Using a calico fabric to just cut this to see what it will look like remember it's not this um, mannequin it's not the measurement of this mannequin we've been using for our illustration okay so this is just for a display for the purpose of demonstration okay but this is one after sewing the dart which is the center front or the bust level dart okay this is what we have at the end of the day okay um ladies and gentlemen we have been able to um come to a wrap of this um series on dart manipulation with the single that manipulation in our next um, video we'll be working on the um the back or the shoulder that okay the back shoulder that you know we'll, we'll be learning how to manipulate that of which after which after which we'll be going into the the two that um, series 
okay please uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel till i come your way again do have a lovely time bye bye